Hi, I am Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Tarot Your Love Story for the month of April 2019 and this will be for you coming from Virgo. So first let me give you my email address which is andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O-9, the number 9 at gmail.com. Send me an email and I'll come back to you, ask me your questions. This first card that I pulled represents your first 15 days of April. And so you coming from Virgo, your first 15 days of April are not going to be good at all. It says if you find a new romance in the first 15 days and that romance is going to be very egoistic and is not going to be very permanent. So don't give your heart very quickly away. You coming from Virgo in the first 15 days of April, that could be a mistake. Take your time, understand that person because complications are seen. Next, I'll pull a card regarding your ongoing romance. Let's see what the card says for your first 15 days. And this is a card that's okay, but it says there's too much energy flowing from you. So are you taking charge? Are you taking control? Are you being not flexible? So try to be negotiable and flexible in the first 15 days of April and your ongoing romance can have a much better chance of being happy. There are also planets of aggression here. So it's you listening to me. So you don't want to show any form of aggression in the first 15 days where your romance is concerned, ongoing romance. Now let's talk about your marriage for the first 15 days of April. And let's, let's see what the card says for you coming from Virgo. It's the card of opposites, as you can see. There is no togetherness, there's opposites. So there is a danger that in the first 15 days of April, your marriage can have severe emotional misunderstandings and a lot of differences. There's also the sign of money on this card. So the condition of money, income or spending is also going to be a area of problems for you in the first 15 days of April. So you have to be very cautious that your marriage can be stretched to unhappiness in the first 15 days. Now I'm going to pull this card to talk to you about your last 15 days of April and let's start with the possibility you coming from Virgo to see how you're going to do and you're not going to do well at all. Last 15 days say that if you find a new romance, be careful, it's full of headache and a full of a problem and full of disturbances. So don't dive into it, study that nature of that person very, very carefully and take your time because this is not a good card for finding a new romance in the last 15 days. What about your ongoing romance? Let's see what the card says. Well, it's a card of conflict. You're sending out vibes and energy which is very confrontational and very provocative. It's all about you. It's you who is listening to me. So tell yourself you have to take the gentle approach or situations are going to get worse and worse and worse in the last 15 days where your ongoing romance is concerned. Even up to the stage of breaking up, this card can show that. Now what about your marriage? Well, the card says, one minute. Well, the card says that, what does it say? Where your marriage is concerned, now this is a very interesting card. There could be a third party involved which is creating problems. You coming from Virgo in the last 15 days, is such a news would be devastating. So I hope it's not doing that. Otherwise, it could be the support for somebody which you want or which your marriage partner wants to support and there's a disagreeability about the support. So there's a lot of outlook problems and differences here. So if I were you, you coming from Virgo, you might as well don't show moodiness and it's a bad card, I can tell you. And if you take the wrong turn of finding confrontation or opposition, last 15 days of April can even lead to a breakdown of your marriage areas. Let me go to now your lucky ages. There will be some people who will be very lucky in the area of romance and marriage. And let's see who they are or what ages they might be. Well, this card is a card of two possibilities, Jupiter and Neptune. I'm going to say that if you happen to be the ages of 21 or 30 or 39 or 48 or 57 or 66 
or 75 or even 84, you're going to be one very lucky person where romance, a new one or an ongoing one and where the marriage is concerned, you'll be very lucky. Things will go your way beautifully. If you're not of these ages, then you'll need to have a 90-minute session with me which will cost you USD 50 and I'll talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years to help you in all areas of your life. I'll talk to you more about that later. Now I'm going to pull a card regarding your lucky colors for you coming from Virgo. Ooh, it's a magnificent card of expansion. So my mind races to purple. So any shades of purple that you wear in the month of April are going to attract the energy of many positive planets. And whether in romance, whether in marriage, you're going to find a lot of good luck when you wear a lot of purple in the month of April. And now about direction energy. Well, nine planets are surrounding Earth, so when we look left or right or straight or back, we're going to be facing a planet or another. So what is the direction I'm going to choose for you for the month of April? I'm going to settle down for the direction of North. So try to face North in the month of April to be inspired in romance, to be inspired in marriage, to find solutions and to make the right turn and to make the right um, statement and to be able to make the right decision as well. Face north and you're going to have plenty of good luck in romance and marriage areas. And now, what are your lucky days going to be? And your lucky days are going to be, let me see what the card says. But it's either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to go for Thursdays. Your Thursdays are going to be very lucky for you in the month of April. Bookmark them. Go out with the new romance improve your ongoing romance, make your marriage happy on this Thursday's morning, afternoon, evening, nightfall period. The chance of the bonding is very beautiful. And if you want to chase for the new romance, try to do it in the, on Thursdays and you'll be very lucky. Now, I want to talk to you about a zodiac sign that will bring problems for you. So you coming from, I'm talking to you, you coming from Virgo. And let's see where this person is going to come from to make April, a miserable time for you. And it's got to be Sagittarius. So somebody from Sagittarius in the form of a new romance or ongoing romance or your marriage partner is going to produce plenty of difficulties. It could also mean somebody from Sagittarius could be an outsider who creates problems. So don't share your secrets from anybody in Sagittarius in the month of April. It could be a troublemaker. Somebody from Sagittarius is going to give you a lot of trouble in the month of April where romance, marriage is concerned. Now I will talk about who you can form an attachment to, who will show you some interest or you interested in. And this person is a card of Scorpio. So this person is going to come from Scorpio and somebody from Scorpio is going to give you a lot of good luck so if it's a new romance coming from Scorpio, go right ahead and grab it. If your ongoing romance partner or your marriage partner is from Scorpio, you will have plenty of support as well. So somebody from Scorpio wants to bring you plenty of good luck. So there you are. Well, that's what I have to tell you. Now this 90-minute session that I talk about, it will cost you USD 50 and based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms, I'll give you and talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years in all areas of your life, your job, your business, your finances, your romance, your marriage, your health. And so with all that information, I'll give you also your lucky lottery numbers, your lucky days, your lucky gemstones, your lucky colors, a lot of information. So send me the email, andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O-9, the number 9 at gmail.com and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Until then, thank you and goodbye.